Hey everyone, it's Bev DeBono with Tuesday's Tip. Today I have a really quick and easy page and it's something that um, you can do and it's just making acorns for your autumn pages using the oval templates from the Creative Memories cutting system. So let's get started. What you need are the oval templates and you need a paper for the body of your acorn and then a paper for the top of your acorn. You need your inside paper and then your base paper. I'm going to cut my inside layer to 11 by 11. So I'm going to cut this to 11 by 11. So I'm going to cut one inch off the top. on the side and then one inch along the other side. And this just makes a nice frame for your um, album page. Now, if you like to make a hollow frame out of this, you could do that. Um, that way you're not putting paper on top of paper um, or you can just lay this on top of each other. But I like to make a little hollow frame so that I'm cutting um, some of the background out and it's not as thick on uh, in your albums. So what I'm going to do now is just cut the backs and I'm going to put my cardstock at the one inch mark and I'm going to start not all the way at the top, but at the where my top of my housing hits the top of my paper. And then I'm going to stop where the bottom of my housing hits the bottom of my paper. And that will give me a full one inch frame, hollow frame. So start there, press down. You see, I'm not cutting all the way through. Turn it to the left. Again, place it at the one inch mark. Start where your housing meets your paper. End where your housing meets your paper. Again, we're not cutting all the way through. Turn to the left again. Start where the paper starts and where the paper ends, turn to the left and do the same thing. So now what you do is you have a hollow, um, a hollow frame and you can use the inside pieces to actually make your mats for your uh, page. Every once in a while you may have to just clip off the little tip with your micro tip scissor. So let's secure our base layer onto our cardstock. And I'm just going to put tape at the very, very edge of this paper. So this was a very busy pattern and I am using the other side of it. Let me do it this way. And I don't mind sometimes if my pages have little lines on them. To me, they're very tonal and it really is okay to use those pages. Okay, now to make our acorn. Here's the fun part. Let's take our second smallest oval and we are going to use, and this is the body of the acorn, and we are going to use the blue blade on the outside. So the blue blade on the outside of the second smallest acorn. And make sure that when you're using this that you have the bumps in the groove of the template itself. Okay, so now I have my acorn and every once in a while you may have to just do a little do a little straightening out 
<clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little bottom piece here and I'm just going to clip it. And now that is going to become the bottom of my acorn. So I'm just going to put a little tape on there and put that little piece right there. And that now becomes the bottom of my acorn or the point of my acorn. So now to make the acorn top, I am going to take the smallest, or actually I'm gonna use the same one. <clears throat> and this time I'm going to use the red blade, the red blade. And I'm going to put that um, bumps into the grooves of the template and going straight around. Oops, I moved it a little bit. Okay, so now I have the acorn top, <clears throat> but I need to make that little indent um, section. So I found an easy way to do this is to just place your top on your mat and wherever your top is, I'm then gonna take the bottom of my template and count three squares down. So it's actually gonna be an inch and a half down from where the bottom of this piece is. So you see, I'm gonna cut out, just move it this way. I am going to cut out one, two, three. So it's an inch and a half. And I'm now just going to use my red blade. And it's easy to start in the middle and work your way out, and then go back to the middle and work your way out. Okay, and that now becomes the top of my of my acorn. But what I want to do is with my corner rounder, I want to just put these edges into the corner rounder and just round them out just a little bit. And again, if I have to just even it out just a teens, I will. And this makes the top, the tippy top part of my acorn. <clears throat> and now I'm going to just put it on. <clears throat> and then this piece here that you cut off, we're going to just hand cut to make a little acorn top. And I kind of just start off with a square, like a little piece. And then you can, if you think that that's too big, then you can um, make it smaller. But I think that actually looks okay. All right, so I'm gonna just add that to the top here. And that makes a very quick acorn on my page. And so now to do a quick uh, top, it's, it's fun to just use some of those cover sheets from your Creative Memories um, paper packs because they have all the squares on them. And you can go ahead and cut them out. And I do a lot of these. I cut them out to make my inch and a half squares. And so I have already pre-cut a bunch of these. These are all from the top covers of the paper packs. So they kind of make it fun. So you need seven squares and these are all inch and a half. And I start with the first one in the middle and I put the first one at the six inch mark facing in the diamond direction and right up to the top, just facing in the diamond direction. And then I will just um, work it from there. So my next one will go at like four and a half. And by just using your mat, then you can just line it up. Then that one goes at three. And then this one is at, um, inch and a half. See, and it goes to the edge of that paper. So now we go to the, 
And it's really easy because I'm lining it up right there on that line. And I'm using the diamond uh, part of the squares. And you see how quick and easy this page comes together. And now what you can do to give it a little bit more interest, <clears throat> you could either put a laser, you could put a sticker. I'm going to just put a, a border that I've already cut across the top of that. And then you can just add some leaves to the base of your acorn and maybe a title. So there you have a really fast and easy page um, made from an acorn using your uh, oval templates. So why don't you try it? Let me know if you like it. Um, comment on my video, please. That helps me out. And I have um, a, about 50 videos already on YouTube. It's Bev De Bono Designs. That's my YouTube channel. So please take a look at some quick, fast, and fun tips for your scrapbook pages. See you next week. Bye-bye.